Within you is everything that you need in order to have an abundant, passionate life that you feel excited to wake up to every single day. And a lot of people look externally for that. And I think that it's important that more people start to look internally. I've always felt my whole life that I wanted to get involved and I don't know if I've necessarily planned to be in business in this field, but I know that it's always been my passion to work with people and to be able to help them. A big part of that has been my relationship with John. Monique and I uh, became friends almost instantly 20 years ago. So we hung out together, uh, we did some work together, and basically just had a high level of comfort with each other and respect for each other. John is also my mentor. He has helped me on my journey to learn more, um, but it's not just so much about tactical practices, it's really learning to be thoughtful, understanding, and to be able to kind of dig in for myself, I know that the trauma that I experienced in life uh, and the way that it's shown up as an adult and throughout my experiences, this constant need to be nurtured and to feel safe. And I think that when you go through trauma, you can also lose parts of yourself and parts of your soul. And that's a, that's a personal belief. And I think that going through spiritual work helps you to retrieve those parts of yourself helps you to release those old energies, but also empowers you to understand your own power and the ways that you can show up for yourself. Energy is really vibrations and we're all made up of different vibrations. And so when using different crystals within my spiritual and metaphysical practices, I can understand what energies they have and what vibrations they have and be able to bring that into my practices when looking for specific emotions or uses, protection, love, and being able to bring those type of energies into it. When it comes to other tools like singing bowls, sage, palo santo, those help to neutralize and clear energy and you can also use them to bring in new energy. I was saying when the teacher is ready to learn, the student will appear. And uh, The beauty of our friendship is that we teach each other uh, and just share openly and through that comes personal insight. I think the biggest wisdom that John's passed on to me is to be unassuming and to ask questions. Because when you automatically think about, you know, why things are the way they are, you can kind of close your mind and your ears off to opportunity. But when you take moments and you ask questions and you can reflect, then that's a lot of times where the growth happens. What's exciting in watching Monique or being a part of Monique's life is uh, how she's excited to take bold steps forward and claim her place in the world uh, in a beautiful way. I believe that you get the most when you give. And so where I want to go from here is to be able to really help as many people as I can on their journey. And not just specifically people that have gone through trauma, because I think all people can benefit from having uh, more connection with spirit, but definitely if I can be an example to how these practices can help someone, then sharing my story is, is where I want to be. Hi, it's Zoe, the producer of this story. If you enjoyed it, give it a like and please share on your own personal page. While you're here, don't forget to follow us so you don't miss the next great story coming out from Shaw Spotlight.